Rise and shine, everyone. I'm Lazy Gamer, and welcome back to To the Moon. I'm sorry I missed yesterday's upload. It was be literally the whole reason was because I wanted this series to be the next episode so bad. I took the loss over having the consistency, and that's a dumb excuse. I think it sounds like a dumb excuse to me, but I don't know. I just want to make sure that this series did not go forgotten by you guys. I mean, it's still gonna stick with me forever. So when we last left off, um, what did happen? We knew more about... Actually, we didn't know more. We found out that even John doesn't know... His name was John, right? Jeez. It's been a, it's been a little bit. We found out he doesn't even know why she started folding the origami paper things. And we downed an entire jar of pickled olives. They're pickled. Pe yeah, they're olives. So, and now we're here. I'm sorry, I don't remember more. It's been a little while. But... Let's get right back into it. I'm ready to have my heart broken over and over again. What were we doing last? Hey, I remember their voices, though. That's all I care about. I guess we're going up. I can't tell if my face is focused in or not. It doesn't look like it. It's probably fine. Alright. Time to get our heart broken. Why is their screen tearing? Oh, did I miss a memory? Am I going to have to walk back to the car because I didn't get it? No. No. I don't want to do the walking, man. My nose itches. I'm sorry. But uh, even though it's been a little bit staggered with these videos coming out, this game is still kind of stuck with me. Because so far, it's been, it's been really sad, even though nothing's happened. And I'm just... Hold on. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really. What is this about? Unusually high and dangerous... I mean, really. What is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? What'd that say? Arachnophobia? Acrophobia. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Is it the fear of heights? I'm assuming it's the fear of heights. I have that. Well, Watts has that. I don't have it. I'm too... The hell was that? I'm too good for that. I would jump out of a perfectly good plane. I wouldn't. That plane was built for a reason. And that reason was to carry you. And you're just disrespecting it. And its only purpose and its existence. How dare you? What are we talking about? What? I should have just progressed up. Here we go. Going back up. Yep. Pop. I, oh, I'm the dumb one. Stop. Don't make fun of me. I'm just a content creator. Oh, no. Oh, it's young, youngish John and River. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What did you do, John? Come on, buddy. I believed in you. I loved you. No, don't storm. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as Anya's... What? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. What? Can I not go that way? Did I... Oh, I have to press enter. I'm sorry. Backpack. 
That is the memento. Never mind. I'm just kidding. Pfft, just has to make sure you were paying attention. Whatever. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. <laughs> what? That was the final memento? Why did I throw the hacky sack? I have many questions. Why did... Not me. Why did John throw the hacky sack? Here we go. Prepare the memento. Alright, time for some sick puzzle solving skills. I already solved it. Come on. You gotta you gotta wake up pretty early to beat me. Shabam. Bam. Ideal is four. I am the ideal. Yes, please activate memento. I don't know what's going on. Oh boy. Younger John. Oh no, is that another new character? Isabel is Everyone is different. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help me somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she never she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. What syndrome? Though being able to articulate, it is a different story. Although our uh, though being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still oh, sorry. For one, I was still diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress, because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and particularly every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Uh, what's going on? Huh, never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business, let's move. You know, off topic probably, obviously it's not a syndrome, but it reminds me of how people are when it comes to depression. The whole, it's an act thing. You just have to put on a brave face and because you don't want to bring the others around you down. But towards the end, you do feel like you're just acting for the sake of everyone else. And it gets tiresome. You, even when you're alone half the time, you're still acting. Because if you let down that shield, you'll, even you'll know. It's kind of like if you fake you fake it, <laughs> you fake it till you make it kind of thing. You you fake that you're okay. You fake that everything's all right, and there is no problem. But really inside, you you're struggling, and you don't you don't know what to do. So you just continue faking it for the sake of everyone else. And obviously, I'm not qualified to give to <laughs> give advice on that, but I know it gets hard. It definitely, definitely wears down on you. And 
sometimes the best you can do is just sometimes the best you can do is just put on that act but over time it does get better obviously that's i've said it before that's an extremely generic answer that a lot of people think don't hold substance but it's very true not everything stays bad forever that was a little bit off topic i apologize let's get right back into it i can't i'm pressing control that's why nick no john what are you doing buddy you gonna come talk to river That's so cool. Just the fact that the game kind of waits for you to get there to start this next conference. That's cool. Maybe I'm just easily impressed. I don't know. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. <laughs> that series where, like, humans transformed into animals? That's the one you loved? Wait, wasn't the Emperor's, the Emperor's New Clothes was that one where they hired the finest men in all the valley to make him clothes and then realized that everyone just lied to him about how great they were? Maybe that's, maybe that's where she's trapped. She feels like everyone just puts her up on a pedestal because that's the right thing to do. Once again, I'm speculating and it's off topic. Anyways, Animorph series. I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one on wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. That's fair. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. Just walked right through them. It waits for you. That's so cool. John, maybe you got something for us? Okay. I'm not yours. You're not mine. Be my Auntie Valentine. Hey. Hey, River. This one's not corny. Not that corny. River? I just want to know what condition she has. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. What? Um, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um... What? Do I have to Google this? Hold on. <laughs> it's a top Google search. That doesn't fit. Whoops, I'm bad. No, go back. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find out for you. Do you know what it is? What lion? That doesn't sound... What? Cobra. There we go. Oh, yeah, Cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Okay. 
Okay, bye. Bye. Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? Oh. Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Yeah. Could have just done that, couldn't I? Whew. That was a... Oh, boy. I really wish I had water with me. You're right. I could have just Googled it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We... Yeah. Thank you. Perhaps I should reread them after all. I barely recall a thing from that series. What else is left? Is it Nick and Ray and Isabel? The backpack? What's left? I got all the... Was that book there before? That doesn't help. would be easier on the eyes if people just remembered faces more. Oh, come on. One, two, three, four, five. It's a good thing this machine is video game mechanics or else we'd be in trouble. Let's see here. Ideal is five. shot by one, but... Oh, well, I guess. Hold on. I'm gonna read that Animorphs note. Johnny's favorite childhood books. Hey! This game was made in England, because it says you in the, in the favorite. Over here in America, we don't like extra letters. Extra letters are way too hard. We just have to cut those out. Stop it. Get some help immediately. Contact your local doctor. Ah, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen a lot with you at parties. Oh, go save your child's jabs with the insecure. Ooh. Ooh. Nice comeback. A glass of pickled olives. I see La Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark. That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Sorry, don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. <laughs> I don't get it. Nope, not you. Who am I supposed to look at? None of you people, apparently. So where am I going then? Follow the ghost children. Or don't. Or don't. We're gonna go with don't. Wait a minute. Is this the... Is this the lighthouse area? 
It is, isn't it? Why you gotta do this to me, game? Yep, there it is. Cool. Cool. <laughs> They're all dressed up for their bar mitzvah. It's probably the marriage, isn't it? It's probably the marriage, isn't it? Why can I talk to no one? That was taking on a whim, wasn't it? Do you feel any different? Now that we've got the rings on, I mean. No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities? Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. I clearly don't. Yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Hey! Come with me! Oh no, is this where the screenshot from the game came from? This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Ow, my ass. I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. To promise and to comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise, to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. <laughs> By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. John Wiles. That should be the whole damn memory bank. Yeah, the wedding. Uh, yeah. What did you think this was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? My mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. Mmm. -hmm. That's a word picture. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come on. Let's... Come. Let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Oh. Here's your lesson about marriage today, kids. Sheesh, what I'm gonna just take it moment by moment. Damn. That was a bit much. I think that's the part that really gets you when you're going through this. Is, um... At this point... Neil and Rosalind, I already kind of forgot her name. 
they're they're hardened at this point. They've gone through probably dozens of memories and watched just heartbreak and mistake after mistake. And whether or not like the whole marriage thing was because of that, or maybe she's divorced, I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dive too deep into the lore of this game, but they've watched so many people make the mistake of doing whatever it is, not marriage, but just in general, they watch the mistake and then they go back through their memories and rewatch where things went wrong, when things went right. But unfortunately, with everybody really, you tend to remember the bad things more than you remember the good. Bad things are easier to remember because they stand out, but like it takes an extremely good moment to remember. And in a game like this, where it's mostly heartbreak, it's not going to be a lot for good to remember. I'm sure John loves this moment because he gets to, he's marrying a person. I mean, I assume he loves. I assume you get married when you're deeply, deeply in love. But it's it's a one-way street. She cares, but she can't emote. He cares, but he takes it personally that she can't reciprocate. And these two are just watching it from the outside and just seeing, yeah, she's going to die. And so are you. And we're here to fix you your mistakes along the way and I mean I don't know very deep episode apparently I'm sorry oh I'd better go see how your aunt is doing all right ma tell her thanks for coming I will I I can't give everybody a voice I'm so proud of you Joey Joey oh that's my grandpa's name he passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as, his nick as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Eh, not another sentimental grandparent but childhood. What do you have against those two anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. <laughs> Note, Joey. Johnny's nickname, named after his grandfather. You got something to say, Nicholas? You got something for me? Somebody give me a pleasant memory. I think it's the music that especially is getting to me. Because, like, imagine this moment from their perspective. They're being married. The family's there. There's food. Everyone's having a good time. It's a marriage. It's a wedding. And then you're watching it from the outside, knowing that... You're just going back after the whole unraveled mess at the end is there, and you're going back through it with sad, sad music. I'm so proud of Joey. You say that to yourself? You got anything? No? Is there any memories down here to be had? There sure are. Sorry, I'm not. I'm I'm lost in my own thought right now. I'm sorry. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one. What? I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Jesus. Right, the partners. Is it the rabbit that's memory? Why would that be John's memory? A roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. Uh, on their wedding day. That is what she remembered and clung on to all those years. It wasn't the wedding. It wasn't being together with John. It was the dead rabbit. Ah, great. I solved it. Why is it doing this? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a dead rabbit. Great. <sighs> yes, prepare the memento. You know what's a fantastic wedding when the memory. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. I'm sad. <laughs> Neil, why? Why do you... you oh. Why do you use yourself... Your self deprecate Poor thing. What's with all the road kills these today? Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And a road kill. Deactivate the scent simulator simulator and get away from here already. Alright. Well, that's that's it for today. That's so sad. Of all the things to remember on your wedding day, it's not it's not the people. Not even that dance they had in the tower for what I assume in the tower in the lighthouse for what I assume was ours. It was the roadkill. She remembered that, and she clung on to that sad moment memory. I don't know if the game's ever gonna explain fully what syndrome she has, but uh, I'm upset. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really enjoy doing these series. Really gets really lets me speak my soul out to all of you. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoy. Share with a friend if I don't know. They enjoy heart to heart conversations. <sighs> Have yourselves a lazy afternoon, everyone. <laughs> and I'll see all of you in the next memory. Goodbye, everyone. Great. Now my memory is going to be stuck on the dead rabbit. This entire beautifully crafted game, and I'm going to be the one folding paper rabbits from now on. Great.